escape. Okay, but enter AAF all control delete start. You gotta bring your treats, huh? Bring your treats, because we're gonna go work, huh? <laughs> Let's get some breakfast first. <laughs> Lewis hops at Lawrence's feet. You need to go out? Go on. He opens the back door for the dog. Lewis chews a bone outside. Lewis and I have just finished two solid weeks of training with the CNIB guide dog trainer. We've had another couple weeks of practice. We have been working hard to be certified as a guide dog team, and today's the big test. You can hear Lewis breathing heavy, desperate to get in front. <laughs> Mine. No. Lewis isn't perfect. After all, he's still a dog. I can't help feeling a little nervous, though. Karen and Andrew will be assessing our progress. Even if we do graduate today, it doesn't mean Lewis's training is over. It takes time for a guide dog to learn the many different routes I walk in this city. Never mind mastering all the outdoor activities I do. Today, though, it's all about the city. Guys? Hey, hi. <laughs> How's it going? Good, 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 good. good. How you doing? <laughs> there. Absolutely. Lewis, Lewis, look who's there. You're beautiful. Good fella. You're beautiful. Looks nice. Amazing. <laughs> you know, guys, I'm really looking forward to today. Yeah, what's we the plan? Find? Well, we're going to do, uh, we're going to get out through the university along the canal, into the Byward Market, and then back out of the market, uh, back into my neighborhood. I uh, had a nice little spot I picked out for us to have some lunch and then Brilliant. hopefully uh, get some feedback from you guys. And, and you'll be impressed by all oh, our hard sure work. I will be. I have no doubt about that. That's I want to get my, I want to get certified, man, well, so I can uh, get you guys off my back. Oh, well, we've seen so <laughs> no. far. It looks great. I mean, yeah. that was that was amazing seeing no. you you're running together. You both just look so happy. Yeah. Big yeah. smiles yeah. on your face yeah. and a big smile on his face. Yeah. yeah. That's uh, good, isn't no. it? You see a dog laughing like that. Tail's going. He's yeah. a happy dog. Well, shall we get going then? Absolutely. All right, yeah, let's, let's do it. To crack okay. it over then. Okay. In the city. Come on, Lewis. Let's show them what we can do. Good boy. Steps. Good boy. Okay, let's go. All right. Lewis leads Lawrence up Good steps. Boy. Good boy. They walk a path and cross a busy pedestrian bridge. We made it through the university campus and across the Rideau Canal. Once we get across these busy roads, the sidewalks are going to become a lot busier. Okay, Lewis, forward. Lewis and Lawrence traverse a crosswalk. Andrew and Karen follow behind. Lewis, right. Let's go. Find the curb. That's a boy. Okay, Lewis, left. That a boy. There we go. They walk on a sidewalk. Okay, come on, Lewis, forward. Ottawa's Byward Market is where I like to buy my sustainably harvested fish and organic vegetables. The sidewalks here are narrow and congested, which means Lewis and I have to slow our pace way down. Lewis's job is to keep me from bumping into people while ignoring all the different smells and distractions. It's a lot to ask of a 21-month-old brand new guide dog, that's for sure. Right, find the steps. Steps, steps, right. A little bit further, right. there you go. Yeah, right right, that's this. Good boy, good boy, forward. They enter an outdoor cafe. Find me a chair, Lewis, right. right, find a chair, find a chair, find a chair. Perfect. Good boy. Go. Lewis lays beside Lawrence as they all take a seat at an al fresco table. I was absolutely blown away by how he worked, particularly through the marketplace. Yeah, I... um, because it was so crowded, he's so young, there's yeah. so many distractions, dogs, smells, loads of people around, uh, you just worked as a team so well together through there. I find he's, um. He's smart, yeah. but he's also emotionally very resilient. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, so, you know, I know, like, if there's pressure going on, he ra he rises to the challenge and yeah. he doesn't collapse. Like, he doesn't cave into the pressure. He, he can take it, right? He can take it. And, yeah. you know, it's like a bit of a water yeah. off a duck's back with yeah. him, man. And he's you, just. You could see that on that one stretch where he was walking a really wide sidewalk. Yeah. And suddenly you realize the whole sidewalk was blocked by scaffolding. Yeah. yeah. So he looked at it, and some dogs that aren't confident enough, that maybe don't have as good initiative as he has, might have just stopped, looked up at you and say, what do I do now? Yeah. But you just told him, come on, find the way, sort it out. And he looked and he used his, his, his brain, his yeah. initiative, yeah. came across to the right to the curb. Yeah. You told him to go, he walked down the road as far as he needed to. Very confidently got up on it, turned right. He heard the praise from you yeah. and he was so pleased with himself. Yeah. I think if we come and see him, and we will, in 12 months, 
Yeah. You know, you think today everything's lovely, everything's wonderful, but just imagine 12 months, he knows all your routines, you know all his routines, you've settled in together. Uh, it's different again. It'll just get better and better and better, and it's all this positive reinforcement that you're talking about. I want to tell you this, I mean it sincerely. I am delighted to give you your ID certificate. Oh, yeah? With your you're picture. Kidding? You do look guilty on it. You should have a number around your neck. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> top class, mate. Let me pass that oh, over to you. Thank and let you me so be the much. First. And I mean it sincerely. Congratulations. Oh, congratulations, top class Florence. Florence. Absolutely. Absolutely Lewis, brilliant. we got our card, buddy. We're good to go. <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> it's a huge deal. We got our official CNIB guide dog ID card. Lewis and I could now go anywhere we want. Now, I need to test Lewis to see how he does outside the city. I've organized a trip for Lewis and I to go into central northern Ontario. Okay, Lewis, let's pack up here, buddy. Got your bowl. Got your collar with your bear bell. All right, you need that, man. Don't want to get eaten by a bear. Your tick puller. Hopefully, we won't need that. And what? Oh, a oh, little bit of treat for you when you're doing really good. We're good? We're good? We're good. We're going to go to the adventure today. Ah, Woohoo! I don't think this is the right coat. I put on the wrong coat. Now, this is my old green coat. He's been in boats and canoes already, and he's camped, but this is gonna be way out in the bush. And we're going into bear country and wolf country and moose country. Ah, moose. Should be interesting, my little compact dog. This is Lewis's real first test. He's never been on a plane before. He's never been into the backwoods before. He's never been away from home on, for Lewis. multiple days at a time before. So there's many firsts for him on this adventure. Lawrence and Lewis pack into an SUV. I'm looking forward to getting back into the bush myself and just reconnecting away from the sounds of the city. It's so nice when I can decompress my hearing and just extend it out without the worry of harsh sounds. How will Lewis do on a small plane? Driving long distances over bumpy logging roads, hiking through forests with the smells of moose, bear, and wolves all around, boating and canoeing in all manner of weather? Join us on the final episode of Makings of a Guide Dog as Lewis and I penetrate deep into Canada's boreal forest. Good boy. Good boy. Title, Makings of a Guide Dog. CNIB Foundation, CNIB Guide Dogs.